What is up, YouTube? This is Jim with JimLopez.com, and in this video, I wanted to do a review of Word Hero. Recently, they made some changes to their long-form editor, so let's go ahead and get into it. I'm here on Word Hero. Word Hero is an AI copywriting tool. It's one of the only ones that actually has unlimited content generator. Most AI writing tools, you have a word count, monthly word count, you know, anywhere from 20,000 to 50,000 word count. Uh, with Word Hero, there is no uh, word count. It's unlimited. I'm right off the bat. I want to start off with if you were on the Word Hero website and you actually went to pricing, you're going to be shown these pricings. It's forty nine dollars a month. You get you get to generate unlimited content. You get access to all their writing tools, including their long form editor and keyword assistant in one hundred and eight languages. You can also pay yearly. But here you go. You ready for the best part? If you click on the link in the description, you'll be brought over to this separate page, which you'll get access to the special lifetime deals. All right. So for the, they have two plans here. They have the lifetime starter for $89. So you make a one-time payment and you'll get access to their generator. With the starter plan, the only thing is you do get to only 20,000 words to generate 20,000 words per month with their lifetime pro. For $269, you get a lifetime access to their generator and editor, unlimited content every month, and access to all their current and future writing tools. And of course, you get access to the long-term editor, keyword assistant. So as you can see here, if you actually, you could pay $349 yearly, or if you click on the link right now, um, I don't know how long this deal will last, you'll get access to the entire tool for 269 all right so i just wanted to put that out there before i went into an actual tutorial so now i'm going to go ahead and sign in to word hero and this is the word hero dashboard and for the lifetime starter plan you get access to all of these templates the only difference is you don't get access to the editor so right now when it comes to templates they have templates related to business as you can see here everything from book description, book titles. You can also do uh, product descriptions. If you go back up for marketing, you have everything from Amazon product descriptions. You got Facebook ads, frequently asked questions, and Google ads, all templates related to marketing, social media. You got Facebook, or excuse me, video descriptions for YouTube titles and social media post ideas. And of course, here you have your writing tools. You have the AIDA copywriting formula, and you have some miscellaneous templates. You can do everything from personal LinkedIn bios, food recipes. If you have a food uh, blog, you can quickly and easily create recipes through there. So now it's time to get into the actual editor. So when you have access to the Lifetime Pro or the regular subscription you get access to the editor recently they made some changes to the editor this is a version two i believe it still might even be in beta you can actually click, click here if you wanted to go back to the original for the old version all right so this is word hero and you wanted to write a blog basically on the top left here you have your writing tools you can uh keyword assistant you can see your history create a new document, uh, open a document, save current document. They have some advanced options you can do in some a help tab. So if you're going to write an article, you would click right here on writing tools. And it would bring up all of the different templates. So if you're going to write a blog, you can search it through blog. I'm going to give you an example of how to do it. So let's just start with a blog topic. Right here, you would put a blog topic. I have one, I believe, how to choose the right protein powder. So that's a blog topic. Go ahead and click on Write for Me. It's going to give me some options here. All right, you have five tips for choosing the right protein, three protein powders for your workout routine. Let me see. Gain weight. Okay. So let's go ahead and do 
how to choose the right protein powder that works for you. So you can actually click here and it'll bring it over. But this one here, we're actually going to use as the title. And then right on the top here, you have some more options where you can, this is the blog outline. So instead of clicking over here and clicking on blog outline, you have it here. So these are your main tools here to use. You got the blog outline, you have the pair, uh, blog paragraphs, and also how to uh, write more. So you can add more content to existing uh, paragraphs. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the blog outline and I'm gonna let it choose an outline for me on this article. So it went ahead and uh, how to choose the right protein powder that works for you. So it starts off with the headings, uh, why protein powder, different types of protein powder, consider considerations when choosing a protein powder. All right, so it basically created a blog outline. So now what I wanna do is actually, I want to make these all H2s. So I go ahead and click H2 right up here and it created these are all my headings for my blog post. Okay, so now we have Y protein powder to start off. So there's two ways of doing this. You can actually come over here and do blog paragraph. And you can put that, if you click here, you can actually copy and paste that into here. And then as you can also add your keyword. So going back over here, before I start writing, I can add keyword assistance. So I want to make sure there's keywords in here. I would put um, protein powder, protein powder is one of the main keywords. I could put choose a protein powder. Okay, so I'm back, back there. I'm gonna go back to my writing tools here. So now I wanna start off with the, my first paragraph, white protein powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this and I'm gonna come right up to the top and hit blog paragraph. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna go ahead and write a paragraph for that heading. So I give it a second here and it's just gonna start typing. I did do a mistake here where I, it's, I'm gonna have to change it to it's writing it as, as an H1, or excuse me, H2. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it back. As you can see now, it wrote the first paragraph. Protein powders are a popular dietary supplement for athletes, bodybuilders, and dieters. They're, they come in a variety of flavors and formulas that can be used to make shakes, smoothies, and other recipes. There are many reasons to take protein powder. Protein powder helps build and repair muscle, aid in weight loss, and provide and provides energy. So as you can see here, I wrote two paragraphs and you can continue doing the same for the next one. Like I said, here you got is consider considerations when choosing a protein powder. So you would do the same thing going down and creating your paragraphs. If you got to a point where you wanted to add more, you would just click up here, write more and would add more content to that paragraph. All right, so if you wanted to do a conclusion, you can do, like I said, two different ways. You can write a blog conclusion here, or you can actually just cut, highlight that and hit the uh, blog paragraph. So this would basically, basically be the way where you would create an article. And as you can see, it's pretty much pretty simple. The new editor is very easy to use. As you can see, it writes really good content that you can use in your articles. Um, always remember that these are this is an AI writing assistant so you would go back, make some changes, make sure that everything sounds right and fact check any information that's on there. All right. So if you're interested in this one, like I said, I'll put a link in the description, $89 for starter plan. If you're just looking for uh, this AI writing tool to write uh, blog, you know, uh, simple social media content. If you're looking for the long form editor, which is this, you can click on the Lifetime Pro, and if not, you can choose the monthly one if that works out for you. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I got way more videos coming and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.